Good morning world from Shargao Island here in the Philippines just doing a little bit of car maintenance changing the spark plugs on the car something I've been meaning to do for a little while now I was actually waiting for a delivery of tofu there's a lady that delivers tofu around the north but apparently there's a checkpoint in the next town and she got stuck there so I'm waiting for her message I may have to go meet her but this car is in pieces at the moment and don't have the battery it's in the house these two doggies have been forming a special bond lately Shalako and Maida <laughs> they've been having loads of little play fights together I fear that when Maida grows up she is going to be a puppy machine all the boy dogs are going to be after her you may see some Shalako Maida hybrids coming out <laughs> test that out later. Well that was quite lucky for me, I didn't actually have to go anywhere. The tofu lady, Jessie, she just arrived and dropped off 10 pieces of tofu, that's like two kilos, and then on my way out to give Sasha's bike a test ride, I saw the LBC guy and he delivered some new packages. So I'm gonna go and see what those are, I'm excited to see what's come. Amanda's come inside for her morning training session. She's looking bigger, isn't she? She is, definitely getting bigger. She knows a few tricks. Is she enjoying them story? Mm. <laughs> She's quite calm this morning, isn't she? Yeah, she had a bit of a fight with Shalako outside for fun. Whoa, look at this. What is going on outside? Super stormy. You made it back in good time, didn't you? Just in time. Can you imagine being out on the bike on this? I know, I did think of you going out there with the grey clouds. I was like, oh no, I hope you get back soon. I saw this coming. <laughs> I'm far away. So we just got a delivery. This is one of Story's Christmas gifts from Uncle Paul and Auntie Debbie. Yeah. That will keep the story nice and occupied. A little activity case to do. Because we won't be going out anytime soon. We've had such a crazy on off day. Now the sun's back out again. It's looking quite beautiful out there. Story's doing some homeschool. She's got lots of activities to work on. How's your smoothie? Very nice. Yeah? Did Story have one too? We're still waiting for our blender to arrive from Europe, so I've been using this food processor to make smoothies. It works, but it's definitely not ideal because you have to hold the sides down to stop the juice coming out the edges. This is my new trick to stop it from leaking. It works. There's no leak. <laughs> this is how we store our tofu. Put them in filtered water so they last long. Here's your dragon fruit smoothie. Yeah. Oh, it's pink. It's like purple. Me and Story are just doing some workbook inside. It's actually got out really lovely. It's nice and sunny now. Such a contrast to what it was like this morning. So I think when Jay comes back in, we might go for a little walk. I've just made Story a little snack plate. She's got an apple here with some walnuts, Brazil nuts, a peanut butter date and some dried blueberries. To keep Story going while she's doing her <laughs> workbook over there. B, little B, beach ball, there's two Bs. What about beach ball? What letter is that? B. Good girl. I'm back from my test drive. Biddy is running well. Actually, while I was out there, I met a guy who introduced me to a new mechanic. Now, I've been working on building my guys, building my suppliers since moving to this island. It's one thing that's important when you go to a new country is finding your mechanic, finding your plumber, finding your whatever, so that you can feel really good at home and safe where you've moved to. I do like to do most stuff myself, that's why I've been investing in tools. I did actually receive a brand new power tool the other day, which I want to show you. Check this out. Have you ever seen one of these? It is a battery powered angle grinder. Never ever seen one of these in my life and I used to work in the trade when I was younger. So this must be new technology. Oh, what's that blue thing? It's called an angle grinder. What's the angle grinder? It's for cutting metal. How do you cut metal? Well, you put these little discs on it. You're, you're such a curious girl, aren't you? Yeah. I like that about you. You put these little circle discs on it. You see that? Yeah. It's like a kind of cutting disc. Yeah. Like sandpaper but hard yeah. and then when it turns on it spins really fast and you can cut through metal. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. It needs to really click on like my Legos. Yeah, you need to click it on properly. I was just showing you. Yeah. Did you like Daddy's new tool? Yeah, how do you click it on? Can you show me how to click it on? Uh, probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you when I'm about to use it one day, okay? Yeah, because in the next morning I want to build, build with you that. What do you want to build with me? I, I want to build like a statue. You could do a statue with this. I've seen people actually carve statues out of stone with these things. No, I want, I, I want 
to make a statue in here. Oh, well, it might make a bit of a mess. You could just um, run it up with the vacuum. <laughs> you know everything, don't you? We're, we're going to have a team doing, doing this, this nice little building statue. Yeah. We're going to make another Santa. Oh, I see. Yeah, but uh, we're just going to make like a... Like a girl Santa. Oh, like Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Alright. So, Sasha and I have been talking about getting a sidecar made for the bike, haven't we? Yeah. I think that'd be so cool <laughs> to be able to all go out together on the bike, especially when it's a really lovely day. Yeah. Story, would you like to have a sidecar put on the bike that you I can sit to, in? I want to build with Daddy. Yes, I know. We're not <laughs> going to do it right now. I'm just showing my tools. <laughs> We found a master builder that lives in Surigao Island and we're in talks with him at the moment about the project and he said as soon as we can get the bike over to Surigao then he can start doing the project. He's actually going to draw up a design for us yeah. and show me. He's never done a two-person sidecar before because <laughs> I said it'd be nice to have a space for Eden and a space for Story yeah. and he said, oh, two seats, okay, let's work on it and see what can be done. So, exactly. Yeah. And one also... Question. One more question. What's your yeah. question? My question is... I want two chairs so so Eden and me could be sitting on, on the both on both chairs. And do you want Eden to be in front of you or behind you? Uh next to me. Oh okay, so a two seater. Yeah, like, next to ne next to my side. Oh. Wait, my side where I sleep. Is that where you okay. want right, Eden to rest here, yeah? No, I want <laughs> I want Eden to go on the on on the uh, on the other seat, no no walking to my to my chair, only for her special <laughs> For her special treat. No, I want a nice little bucket there so so Eden Eden can can eat all her treats there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Eden can have a little road snack. Yeah, yeah. I think she'll so, enjoy that. Put her dinner sticks there. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Also these little treats that I just fed her. These big biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. And these little biscuits. Yeah. That's her food. So I don't think she'll eat that when we're out. I love that you get excited about our project today, Story. No, I, I want her to, to, to sit there in case she's hungry. Oh, okay. yeah, we're we'll, we'll building a little uh, slot for a water bowl. You know, like having a drink holder for a human. You have a dog bowl holder in the front, yeah? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Look, like the bucket for, for my horsey farm. Yeah, you can add that into the design, okay? <laughs> We'll have yeah. to tell Ben and he can put it into the design. We're also considering having some kind of sunshade and we thought maybe we could use a stand-up paddleboard as a sunshade. Yes, because we are thinking of getting stand-up paddleboards as well, but it's just not right time of year really, is it, at the moment? Yeah. The weather's so unpredictable, but when it gets back to a couple of months, when it's really nice weather all the time, definitely we're going to buy some paddle boards. Yeah. So being able to go out all together on the motorbike will be really fantastic. Yeah, I can just imagine the videos we could get. Such an island thing to do, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, definitely. And that's the, what I'm really getting excited about now for this year, because I can't really place my mind into travel mode because mm. we don't know what's going on, but we can work on projects yeah. and this is going to be one of them. Yeah. You smell like <laughs> smoke. I thought you were going to kiss me. But you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been outside and they've been burning coconuts, so that's oh. why I stink like a bonfire. It's nice actually. Yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> Getting a dual purpose arm workout and coffee grinding. <laughs> this is our new grinder, isn't it? Yeah. First time we've used it. How's yeah. it feel? It's good actually. It doesn't take as long as I thought it would. Yeah. We bought this off of Lazada and some of the reviews on it were like, oh, it took me 12 minutes to grind up enough to make a coffee. <laughs> but I did a whole like cup full of grinds in, I don't know, I didn't but time it, but it definitely wasn't 12 minutes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you could try it. Ooh. Oh, strong girl. <laughs> because it's more harder than I could do it. Just pull it back a little bit and then go again. You're using your left hand as well. Other way, other way. Oh, okay. Just, I'm trying to keep it still. Story, is your right hand stronger or your left hand stronger? My left hand's stronger because this, this one will make it tangled. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. It's because the position you're sitting in. Try your left hand then. Both of my hands are quite strong, but, some, but, but one of them just tangled my arms. Oh, I see. You're such a clever girl. Whoa. Oh, you made a volcano. <laughs> Look, it looks like a little volcano in there, doesn't it? <laughs> Good job, Story. Well done. Has anybody spotted the secret addition to Story's hairband here? Look, Look she's put a moon in there. Oh, 
Go. You put it in your hairband, remember? Oh. Because yeah. <laughs> you wanted to be the moon goddess, Chang'e. Ah! I still love that film, don't you? Yeah, I still love it because but, but because I wish I could go on a rocket. Well, a rocket with you. I'm yeah. going to go in a pink one, you go in an orange one, you go in a spotty red one. Okay, we need three yeah. rockets, wow, yeah. that sounds expensive. Yeah. Is it? Nice, nice work story. Nice so you can see the kitchen's finally coming together as well. A few days ago I finished putting this shelf up here, which is kind of like a display for our coffee stuff. <laughs> the only problem is it's a little bit too high for Sasha to reach. <laughs> so every time we need to make a coffee, which is every day, <laughs> I have to be called to bring the things down from the top shelf. And we also fitted these little hooks here so we can hang our little display mugs because we've got some lovely mugs coming from Portugal, haven't we? We have, yeah, from our travels in Thailand and Portugal, actually. There's a couple of nice mugs from Portugal. Oh, uh, yeah. So if any of you are in a position where you're trying to ship stuff from the UK to Shargao Island, don't use Forex because they said they would deliver door to door and now our stuff is stuck on Surigao Island and we have to pay extra money to have it delivered. Yeah. But it's not too bad, they're big massive boxes and it's only a little bit extra mm. so I just said in the end, okay fine, I'll pay the extra service and they're going to forward it on. My dad specifically requested and paid for door-to-door -door service yeah. and was reassured when they picked the boxes up that it would be coming to the island. Been stuck over in Surigao now for weeks before Christmas, Yeah. so they're still over there. <laughs> that is fragrant. Which beans are these? again wow. where did we get these from uh we were given them cavite oh tall volcano yeah the highlands of cavite sitting down at the workstation got my coconut coffee this dining room table has become a place for homeschooling over here and a place for office work over here <laughs> and also for dining i've got my smartphone i'm doing emails sasha's doing some other admin work and story is practicing her magic painting can i show you how it works you just dip it in here no paint, and look what magic. Wow. The colours appear by themselves, don't they? Yeah, orange and green. Let's go out, Story. Dad. We've got a mission to do. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, yeah. is to go to the jungle yeah. and pick some malungai leaves for mum. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We've got a little follower. Doggy. You've become our little guardian, haven't you? Used to be Shalako came on our walks, now it's Maida. Somewhere out there is a tree growing Mulungai leaves. We will find it. The Mulungai is this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, easy. We have a guide. That saved us a few hours. Ah, what the light green tree? Ah, Story's already got her purple bag. She's going to fill it up with some leaves. Now we've hit a bit of a snag. This is where the Mulungai is. It's all the way up here. Story, can you climb that tree? I'm too young. <laughs> there we go. We found some Wollongai much closer. They're over there. Can you see the light green ones? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to get. Shall I pick you up? Okay, sit on my shoulders. It's all there on my rounds. Okay, I'll hold the bag. Put the rest myself, yeah? Okay. Under the leaf. <laughs> I got it. What? All right, mission complete story. Is it Mulungai? Yeah, it's Mulungai. Can you take the Mulungais back to mum? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you very much. I'm the, I'm the leader, am I? Look at this pretty plant. It's really pretty, isn't it? I haven't seen this before. You can take a little one, yeah. Look how pink the stem is. Like a Sakura cherry blossom tree. You've got a little surprise for mum? Here's your fresh Mulungai delivery. <laughs> there wasn't much pickings left to be honest. Oh, and a puppy delivery as well. Yeah, we found out where she lives, where yeah. she comes from, yeah. Maida comes from the house across the road. Maida lives on the road. <laughs> so you have actually got an owner, little Maida, but you just spend all your time here bugging us. Hmm? We don't mind. Jay is just putting Story to bed tonight. Although I can hear quite a bit of giggling going on in there, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take. <laughs> and I'm just cooking some dinner for Jay and I. On the menu tonight, we have some scrambled tofu cooked with a little sesame oil. And in here, there's also red onion and some malungai leaves, and also turmeric powder, which is giving it the yellow colour. 
Dad is back. How did the bedtime routine go tonight? Good. <laughs> uh, I feel that story traps me yeah. when I'm trying to leave now. <laughs> she like wants another story and a mm. made up story. Right? Yeah. It's fun. And the next dish I've cooked for dinner is red beans with sweet corn and some spinach with garlic and chilli. And voila, this is dinner tonight. So currently it has been two full days since I finished the water fast. Yesterday I felt like I was recovering, still drinking a lot of water. I'm just about to finish my third litre and I'll probably have more before I go to bed, maybe a herbal tea or some hot water or something as well. So I will have more than three litres again, which is a big difference since before I started because I was forgetting to drink water and I'd maybe drink one and a half maybe a day. So I've doubled my water intake the last week or so. You also did a 16 hour fast leading into the morning so you didn't eat anything yeah. until lunchtime. Yes, the last two days after finishing I've been intermittent fasting for 16 hours so after my last meal the night before I don't eat anything for 16 hours. So today it was finished dinner at 7.30 last night and then I had a smoothie at 11.30 today so that's how I've been playing it. Also thinking back quickly to the Kitchery cleanse, yeah. they always said that you should have your biggest meal of the day at lunchtime. Yeah. so you've got more time of the day to burn off those calories yes. and on a regular western diet you would have dinner and dessert at yeah. night and then you would go to bed isn't yes, it? It that is, yeah, that's something that I would like to try and change for us as well because I do like it when we eat our proper meal at lunchtime and we're all sitting around the table together, it's nice. Mm. Going forward I'm going to try and do that more and have our main meal at lunchtime. The ultimate goal really is to create sustainable change, things mm. that don't feel like they're a hassle yeah. even when you're out. There are a lot of health benefits to doing the fasting in terms of anti-aging and for my skin and stuff like that. So we can all benefit from this. Yeah. And I just love the research, it's fun. Yeah. Now that I feel like I'm fully recovered from the fast, I am going to start my three month workout program in the next day or so, which I'm looking forward to because it really, once I get into it, I really get into it. So I'm looking forward to beginning that again. <laughs> 